Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. On December 4th, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung visited a Kyungi food bank opened by the province for individuals who are unable to support themselves due to economic difficulties during the COVID-19 pandemic. During the visit, Governor Lee inspected facility operations and stated that no one should be left in a situation in which they have to steal food to survive. There are three such Kyungi food banks currently in operation at food markets in the cities of Gwangyang, Sangnam and Pyeongtaek. The 120 Kyungi Call Center recently opened an SNS channel via Kakao Talk. Through this channel, all inquiries, including those regarding policies, administrative procedures, and welfare matters, will receive responses from specialists via chat rooms. The province now plans to use images in addition to text-based dialogues so as to provide more effective responses. This service channel extension is expected to improve the speed and accuracy of responses as well as resident satisfaction. This year, Kyungi Province will increase the number of 365 shelters for the disabled to 13 by utilizing unused residential facilities for individuals with disabilities. These facilities provide individuals with severe disabilities with emergency care services. Services are available 24-7 for up to 30 days for a daily fee of 20,000 Korean won. Kyungi Province has launched a trial project for apartment remodeling consultation services and begun receiving applications. These services are applicable to aging apartment complexes that received approval for usage more than 15 years ago, but not yet for remodeling cooperatives, and of which more than 10% of residents have agreed to apply for the services. Through consultations, residents will be assisted in decision-making regarding relevant matters, including the formulation of initial remodeling plans and feasibility studies. Kyungi Province has introduced representative symbols and English slogans that reflect the status and future vision of the province as Korea's largest local autonomy. The new Kyungi image symbolically represents the initial Korean consonants in the name of Kyungi Province. The top green strokes of the symbol represent provincial advancement along a straight road, while the lower blue strokes convey the flexibility and strength of the province through the harmony of straight and curved lines. At the end of last year, Kyungi Province announced plans to invest 420.4 billion Korean won in 18 projects in line with the Green New Deal policy of the central government. One of the key projects is the supply of green mobility as part of efforts to establish eco-friendly, low-carbon transportation. Other projects include the green remodeling of aging public buildings constructed more than 15 years ago with energy efficiency improvements via support for high-performance insulation doors and windows and other facility and air quality improvements through support for eco-friendly ventilation system installations. On December 4th, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung visited a COVID-19 screening site that has been established temporarily at Gwangmyung Stadium. During the visit, Governor Lee received a briefing on operations encouraged site personnel and offered assurances that the province will provide full support to secure beds for severe cases. Governor Lee then visited the intensive care unit of the Seoul National University Bundang Hospital and expressed gratitude to the hospital for offering beds for severe COVID-19 cases. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.